Oh, well, welcome to Tights TV. Uh, Neil Lance here. We all know who I am. Uh, but we've got a new guest on, Ryan. Ryan, uh, please that you can join, mate. I appreciate it. Cheers, thanks. Thanks for having me on, Neil. Um, yeah, so we're going to have a bit of a, a, a chat about Port Bell game. I mean, what a start that was. After 25, 26 seconds, Luke O'Connell. Uh, what was <laughs> that, unbelievable, mate? <laughs> unbelievable strike, wasn't it? Absolutely unbelievable. Do you, do you know, I went to my brothers to watch it last night. Um and we nipped up there and he'd not got the laptop just quite ready. And we literally missed the goal by about to 10 seconds. So I had to watch it. I had to watch it on highlights. <laughs> but my son was my son was sat next to me and he was bouncing all over saying, it's come up, we scored, Connell scored, Connell scored. <laughs> and we missed it. We missed it. But um, yeah, yeah, fantastic start, mate, yeah. I mean, it's what we've been doing for the last couple of games, to be fair. We're all starting pretty... Uh, quick and on, on front foot, and what like Duff's alluded to is that we had to get a, 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 in and amongst it. Because, I mean, when you're looking at pitch as well, I mean, it, it didn't look a great pitch and all, did it? it shocking. Really? Like yeah. an arse field, isn't it? Terrible. Yeah, you could see they reverted to a bit more, a bit more direct, going a bit more long ball because the, the pitch was shocking, really, for, for sort of the, passing the ball into feet. So, um, I'm not a fan of the long ball, but sometimes you know, needs must. And I think that I think they did all right, actually. You know, considering when we're doing a lot of the long ball last season, the balls just going all absolutely all over the place. So it used to drive me crackers last season when it just wouldn't work and the passing were going all over the place. It was a lot, lot better last night. Yeah. Um, you know, I thought we were winning the ball, but even when we were losing control of the ball, or maybe it was going to one of their players, we were, you know, we we're pressing them and winning it back as well up in the right areas, which is very much similar to how we used to do it on the Val. Mm. I'm saying we should go back to that sort of playing, but it was a very similar sort of performance out last night. Yeah. But- uh, a few people have said that uh, when I've been at work and that they, they were like saying some lines is about long ball, but like what you just touched on there, Ryan, and you know, state of pitch, it wouldn't have been a game to play that on floor kind of thing, bobbling about. Mm-hmm. I mean, what I kind of picked up on and all is that what you just said there about with pressing and that is that Luke O'Connell obviously set up for a second uh, for yeah. Kitchen. Were you surprised that Russell started for uh, Ryan? <sighs> Yet, yet and no. I mean, I don't think Adam Phillips has done all wrong to be get to be getting dropped. To be fair, yeah. but I think Russell came on against Cambridge and played really well. Mm. Um, I just think I like. He's, don't get me. He's a great player, and I think he's a great addition to the squad. But he's more of that defensive midfielder where there's Lucas playing that role. And I think that when 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 Adam uh, when he came, when Phillips came on last night. You could see the attacking. Um, sorry, that's my daughter behind me coming in. <laughs> <laughs> um, they, um, when Phillips came on, I think he made a bit of a difference. Not, you know, not that Russell played well, but he did make that mistake that led to the goal slightly. Because mm. if, if he'd have got rid of it down the edge of the area, then it led to the corner, which he scored from, which is not directly his fault. But you know, he lost the ball in a vulnerable position. So maybe I don't know if it were. I don't know if that's a reason Duffy took him off, or whether mm. it was just fit, you know match fitness because he's not been getting a lot of games at others field. Who knows? But um, yeah, I was surprised to see Phillips drop. To be fair, uh, I don't think he's done anything wrong to get dropped. But and he yeah, came well, last night, didn't he? So yeah, I mean, a good point. What you made via. I mean, a few people like saying Brett fetched Russell on, and I don't know if it was because at weekend when he came on, he did look bright. He, you know, a bit of a turn and drop shoulder and back. So whether and like you said, via um, he hadn't been game much game time at Huddersfield before he came here. So what he up to speed with match sharpness. Um, and again, Phillips for me hadn't done out wrong. It, you know, just one of them games where I think he might have just tried something different. Yeah. But with what I got with, with Phillips and all, is like what you said, when he came on, it offered that bit of directiveness. I thought it, it was yeah. like not too similar, it like kind of altered it. So fair play to, I mean, look, I mean, Duff met call at week and didn't with substitutions, he got it right, and he, he seems to have got it right again. Uh, yeah. kept it on front foot and. Again, in second, and I, I, I don't think I know. You know, might agree or disagree on this, Ryan. I don't think three-one school line really flat this. To be fair, I thought we fully deserved it. I think we did. We deserved win. What 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 I, what I really liked about last night was that after after we scored, you know, we've got the goal, we've gone in front, and then Port Vale really put pressure on. You know, they really pressured us to um, and got that equaliser. You know, we, we did look a little bit under cost, a little bit, a bit like. Yeah. You know, a rabbit caught in headlights. We didn't seem to be able to clear his lines. Mm. And I think it just shows how much of an influence Michael Duff's having now with 
the lads and their attitude towards the game and obviously keeping positive because, you know, last season we'd have folded there. We'd have mm-hmm. completely folded. And we didn't, even though they, they put us under cost for a good 20 minutes, we we rode it out and, and we went and got a second goal. And from then on, we looked at, you know, we looked very, we looked very comfortable from then on. Um, I was really impressed with how well the lads sort of got back in after being under so much pressure and not folding and, you know, getting back in the game and actually getting to the point where we go and win it. Yeah, I mean, again, it, it well, one of them kind of games, like you said, we could have gone 1-1 one, and it could have been either we'd have lost it or it would have been a draw. And yeah. I think substitutions and all, I mean, Tedich, I mean, I'm not, no disrespect to Norwood and Cole. I thought uh, they were on the socks into the ground, but I thought when Tedich came on, I was half expecting him to do somewhere or no. And to be fair, he came on and actually chased down and run down. Yeah. Uh, and I know Duff's gone on to say it must have been a different Tedich what Man City have sent back after his injury. But again, I think that's the belief in togetherness at the squad is that everybody's like playing for one another and you can see it uh, right until final final minute kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely. I, th- I mean, I really rate Tedich. I thought he were right up to him getting his injury. Uh, you know, I thought that when he, I think we first saw him at Leeds, didn't we, in the, in yeah. the cup? And he come on there and he really impressed me there as well. And I think it was really unfortunate he got that injury because there's a you know, Man City don't sign bad players. Um, you know, he's, he, he is a very good player. And I thought, like, like when he came in last night, both him and Shaw really pressed last night. Hmm. I think that Norwood and Cole, it was very like a workman sort of, re- you know, they didn't really get many opportunities, which sounds daft when, you, when you've won 3-1 away and your strikers haven't really done much. Yeah. They did a lot of work, but they didn't really have any opportunities to speak of. Uh, but when when Shaw and, um, and Tedic come on, I thought that, you know, they give us that extra bit of pace, didn't they? It gave us that extra bit of pace in, in, in closing them down. I thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. And brought brought in at the right time, I think. I mean, yeah. again, Ari, Ari Ishted, um, you can tell is that bit of championship now, uh, a bit of time he's wasted. A good, he's a good know. keeper, isn't he? Yeah. You know, I'm, I, I, I've been a keeper all my life, and so I'm part of the goalkeepers' union, so I'll always try and stick up for him. But yeah, I think he's, he's, he's a really decent keeper. Um, Look, looks like he slotted in pretty well, doesn't he? Uh, weekend yeah. and then this game as well. Well, a lot of Luton fans said online that they said, you know, they were good to be seen going to going. The, the keeper they've yeah, had in, the keeper they've had in most of the season, is actually a loan keeper, mm. and Nistad is their is their own is their own player. And they, they, they said they can't understand why they've they've got rid of him, and he's mm. a really decent keeper. So, I mean, I don't know what his contract situation's like. Um, it runs out to end of season, actually. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if he impresses them, maybe we could get him on it. Maybe we we'll get him on a free. It depends if Collins goes in summer, doesn't it? We don't know. What's going. It depends mm. if we go up, doesn't it? Really. Yeah, I think I think if we don't go, we might see a few leave in the uh, in the summer. So it might it's got it'd be good to you know potentially have some replacements there to, to to come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like to think so. I mean, again, uh, Bobby Thomas, another player uh, that I like. I just think yeah. he's like one of the old school kind of players. He seems to have slotted in, gelled in well. Yeah, he's uh, a proper Russell. union. He's a proper yeah. union. So the first game we saw him, we're at home, wasn't it, Accrington? Um, it must have been five minutes in. I was like, oh, Christ, he's an absolute unit, that lad. <laughs> it looks like <laughs> he's been playing for us for a bit and all. I don't know yeah. about you, Ryan. Yeah, yeah, decent play. Just like he just slotted straight in, hasn't he? Yeah. Come up with two goals, you know. He's and he's he just he looks he looks really unflappable. He reminds me a bit of uh, of Ethan Pinnock, how Pinnock used to be. He just never mm. looked Pinnock used to play and he never looked stressed, he never looked like he were, you know, like a rabbit in headlights. He were always like Calmness personified, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> and that's, what, that's what I like about Bobby Thomas as well. And he just seems to just cope with it re- really well. He's, 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 yeah, he's been, he's been a good signing. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, so, Tom Edwards I mean, getting that bad injury, but it might have been a blessing in disguise for us as a club. Yeah, unfortunately, Edwards, like, because I think he came, he was coming good into that uh position. Although he came as a right wing back originally and then sorted into central defence, but I think that Bobby Thomas. Ari's vein, Ari gives that bit of extra height, bit, bit, bit of extra dimension. And yeah. when you look and I don't think it's really been picked up on this, is like you've got a goalkeeper in, new to uh, defence. You've got Bobby Thomas coming in. And yeah. that understanding vein, and togetherness vein, it's, it's second to none. You're seeing that bit of partnership and uh, form. Midfield, more or less takes care of its end. Front two, again, in and out, chopping and changing a bit. Uh, but eventually it'll come good. But pleasing for me to see that Goals coming from elsewhere and all, yeah. not just depending on front two, Ryan. And they have been all season, haven't they? They have mm-hmm. been all season, to be fair. I think if we'd have been relying on us front two to be, to be, you know, 
as um, as main goal scorers. I think we might, you know, we won't be where we were. But it's really pleasing to see we've got some decent attacking players. I mean, how many how many's Williams got? Four. Yeah, he's got a fair few now. About three or four. And he's got some decent that, yeah. as well, hasn't he? Yeah. 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 It's quality. You can you just yeah. can tell Duff improving a player as well, isn't he? I mean, because yeah. you look at last season, yeah, he had a few injuries, but a shadow of player, what we know, what Williams can bring to the table, and he's, he's proving Absolutely. it. It looks like he's enjoying his football and all, which is important and all, right? I think they all are, Neil. I think I think they all. I think they're all enjoying the football. I think they're all enjoying working under Michael Duff. You can't you can't fault him. He's been the difference between last season. It's just night and day, isn't it? And I, yeah, you know, I know we were in Championship last year, but I'm telling you now, every every day at week, I prefer to be. I know it sounds daft. I prefer to be in League One, where we're challenging every week. We're playing good football. We're competitive. I'd rather, much rather that as a fan than be stuck at bottom of the Championship, gutted, falling out with club, playing mm. terrible football. You know, it's here's one for you, then, Ryan. Do you think if Duff had come in at second half of the season, obviously shop had gone. Do you think if Duff had come in, I think it were about November time when uh, Ash Barge came in. Do you think we'd have probably stayed up in championship? Or not? I think so. I think yeah. I think we would have done. Yeah, I think mm. we had. You know, we weren't actually uh, mathematically relegated until two games to go. Well, we were still at were it two or three games we had left. I think we're about two games to go. Then it will like yeah, we had, we had, yeah, was, yeah, we had, we had Blackpool at home, didn't we? And then West Brom away. Yeah, and it was the away game, wasn't it? When it finally got it yeah. finally got what final nail in the coffin. So I, I can't see why not. It might have taken him. You know, because obviously he had a pre-season, didn't he, with, Gat, with lads to, mm. to try get start getting his points across. And he was still say, he still say, you know, it took a while for him to get his his management style embedded into the squad and, 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 the, and the way he wants to play. So it might have taken a little bit of time, but I think I, I definitely think he could have saved us. Because, again, a, a lot of the players that are there now were there last, there last season. True. Yeah, so. very true, mate. Yeah. And I'm just going on about Duff and if he'd have come in, you know, if books and maybe, I suppose... It's kind of an own game for him, but an away game for us at Cheltenham coming up at yeah. a weekend. Uh, do you think there's going to be many changes come weekend, barring any injuries out? I don't think so. I think um, I think probably Phillips will just come in for for, for Russell. Mm. That's that's the only thing I, I can see. Mm. You know, I think like as I said earlier, when Phillips come on, I think he you know he added that attacking element a bit, a bit more pace, and then he scored a crackerjack as well, and he so yeah, yeah. yeah, and nearly scored a second one with almost an identical strike. So <laughs> you know he's proven he's a goal scorer. Um, I really rate him, Phillips. I think he's I think he's a really good signing. So I think that's only I think that a little bit only change. Um, I mean, I'm not sure but... Teddy and, and uh, Shaw are ready just to start just yet because both you know both lacking a bit of you know full match fitness. So. I think it's an ideal opportunity, like what you've on about there with Shaw and Tedic, because we've recently come into club and up to match speed. But in certain areas of pitch like now, I'd say quite a bit of areas in pitch, there's some healthy competition now, especially in midfield. Especially yeah. midfield area, isn't there, for fate for places. And I think that's what you need to be as a player to be pushed on your performance, isn't it? Yeah. Because we've got Tom, we've got Thomas and Benson to come back as well, so yeah, we're, we're, in, yeah. we're in a strong position, I think, for, for this for this push, and we need mm. it as well because we've got some tough games coming up. You know, we've got some winnable games, the like you know the likes of Cheltenham and Markham and a few others uh, that like Burton away that we've got coming up. But we've we've also got, you know, yeah. apart from Bolton, all the teams that are above us, we've got them all to play. Yeah. At home. We've got Portsmouth, we've got Wickham away, so we've got some it next sort of six to eight weeks. We've got some. Some real tough fixtures. So having that squad and having that depth in squad, um, will 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 you know? Well, it's brilliant for us, isn't it? Only concern is maybe centre back. You know, or sort of you know the back three. There isn't much mm. depth in squad there, but it's rare those guys tend to get injured anyway. Is it so? And they, they tend to be able to do ninety minutes, um, regular way. But yeah, yeah, it's it's it's, it's great, mate. It's great to have, um. To have healthy competition, I don't think it can it can only improve you, can it? Yeah, I mean, touch wood, like you say, the majority of the squad can you know keep fit and not be putting in fresh injuries. I think we've had as barrel full of injuries or <laughs> club as players, not yeah. You know what I mean? So I think we've yeah. I'm, I'm hoping we've come away from that curve and we are not home straight in our regarding injuries situation. Uh going to the Cheltenham game, I mean, like we've said, I, I kind of agree. I think Russell probably get rested and I think Phillips, I can see Phillips coming back in for this game. Yeah. Um, I don't think there's been any injuries pick up. So again, it's more or less keep it as it is. Um, 
score prediction and who do you think will be, will be your most influential player uh, on the day for Barnsley? Um, I'd, say, I'd probably say Connell again. I think he's yeah. been his player. I think he's been his player. It's been immense, hasn't he? he? Really has. yeah. he's, I mean, we've had some great. To be fair, in, in, in summer when those signings were coming in, and obviously because of the financial uh, um, restraints that we've had, hmm. uh, we're dropping down into League One. We had to make a lot of free signings, and there were a lot of med of it on on social media. Um, but you know, a couple of loans aside that probably haven't worked out quite as well as we might have hoped. I think every, all the ones that we've actually signed hmm. full time. Been decent signings, mm. you know, and I think that Connell's been an absolutely, you know, to get Connell on a free, he's just like, yeah. it's unbelievable. The guy's been unbelievable. He, yeah. What a player. Um, so yeah, he's very. I think every game he's just he just he just bosses it from that position, doesn't he? He wins the ball back, chases it down. He's got that. He's got that pass. He's got everything. Mm. So I th- I'd say yeah, Connell again. Um, although I really like how Kane's been performing as well. So yeah. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking um, that. School prediction? I'm going to be confident. It's going, it's going to have to be three points. I mean, I watched mm. the highlight. I watched quite uh, the extended highlights for Cheltenham from last Saturday, and they, they don't. I mean, this, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but they didn't look. They, they didn't look brilliant. Mm. But they got to win. They got to win yesterday, didn't they? So yeah, they did. Yeah, they yeah. got to win important win yesterday. So maybe that'll you know give them a bit of a boost. But I think I think three nil, three one. Three no three one. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm liking Connell. Um, I think every game it's always I don't mean respectful, but it's always like more or the same names getting mentioned, and probably rightly so because you can't take mm-hmm. out away from him. I mean, Williams has been at a, a mention, Anderson uh, yeah. at times, Bobby Thomas now, Luca Connell, and a good point what you raised there. I think because Luca Connell's playing his game well, um, I'm I thinking it's like improving Herbie Kane. I, I kind of saw this under. When we had Alex Mowat at club and you saw um, Matt and James come in, it kind of, yeah. kind of complemented one another. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm seeing this with like Luke O'Connell and uh, became again about understanding together as well. Third position, like you said, Phillips and Russell, It's I think it's a bit there. But you've got Luke, uh, Luke Thomas to come back. So it's uh, again, it mixed. Yeah. But yeah, I'm going with Luke O'Connell and all. I think he's going to... I think it's going to be a key again. I think he's wanting to drive it and pick it up and get things yeah. moving and, and, and keep pushing. I like how he works off at ball as well. I did try and dictate and always want to get involved in corners. Score. Um, I'm going to probably go... I'm going to go 2-0 Barnsley. Um, I just think that if we set off like we have done and we, we get that early goal and put it on back foot, I know when Cheltenham come to our place... It was frustrating because it was like a matter of when we we're going to score that goal. Yeah. You know what I mean? We we're waiting and waiting, and when it came, it was like God, it's finally come here. Yeah, and that was back way back in August, wasn't it? Um, and game season, my first home game, wasn't it? Yeah, and yeah. you couldn't have wrote it on wall, could you? That you know, Michael Duff's first home game against Cheltenham is you know <laughs> his own side. So, but yeah, um, yeah, I'm going two 0 Barnsley, Luke O'Connell, uh, Ryan. You're going to say three 0 three one. Yeah, I'll say three now. I'll say three now. Yeah, good convincing win, yeah. Take that all day long. Uh, people that's watching, please like, subscribe and share. Let, let us know your comments in uh section as well. Your score predictions, your man at match who's been standout player. I think you'll probably agree with uh, Ryan and Missing. I think Luke Connell by far at the minute. It's not respect to other players, but I think up to now he's doing his wicked wonders. So yeah, Ryan, it's all I hope you can join again because it's been a pleasure talking to you, mate. Some, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'd love bit. to. I'd love to, yeah. Brilliant. Not Everybody watch my wife over it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone that's watching, please like, subscribe and share. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're going to Cheltenham, have a safe journey. One thing left to say, you Reds. You Reds. <laughs>